Hello, this is Bino. I'm an arborist and a certified tree worker. What I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. What we're working on today is the anchor hitch. It's a knot that's recognized by the ISA on their um, tree worker exam. What we're gonna do is um, format this video in a way that it would be done in, as you're taking the test. What I wanna also mention is last video, we worked on the bunt line hitch. So if you haven't seen it, you wanna go have a look at that. All right, let's get to it. I've been an ISA evaluator for about 20 years, and I definitely like to see when someone is going to take the test and they, they get to the test and they know their knots. And it's really important because if you're not tying them right, you're not gonna be able to get to the next step, the climb. Um, <clears throat> so when you get up to the, the part where you're gonna do the knots, you are allotted one minute to tie it. Um, so what you'll do is you'll They'll give you three options. So the bunt line, the anchor, and the double fisherman's bin. So you'll choose the one you're gonna do, and this time we're gonna do the anchor hitch. So you'll get to the evaluator, he'll have you get ready, and, and then he'll you know give you the time to start. And then when that happens, you have only one minute to tie. So the time starts. So what you wanna do in tying the anchor hitch, um, you'll have your line. You're gonna make sure that the standing part of your line is gonna be in line with the, um, the back portion of your carabiner. And now you'll begin by making a full round turn. You go around the carabiner, go around the standing part of your, your line with a half hitch. And now you'll send this through, making sure that you have at least um, five inch diameters of your tail. You're gonna tie, dress, and set it. Make sure that when you tie, dress, and set, that it's ready. Once you have it tied, dress, and set, you'll pass it to your evaluator. I'll be tying it again, and I'm gonna do it in slower motion. Remember that it's this is one that you're gonna have to tie within a minute. So your spine of your carabiner, you're gonna put your rope through making one complete turn around your carabiner after you do that you're going to go above your standing part of your line and come back through the turn you're going to make sure you got at least three inches of tail you're going to tie dress and set you're going to make sure that once you tie dress and set it at that point is when you will hand it over to the evaluator. Now what's good about this anchor hitch is that it is also a cinching knot. So once you put your weight under it, it holds your carabiner in place. Um, it's really important because you can't have your carabiner side loading. It'll be tied correctly when you have enough length in your tail and, and this it's in this fashion here. What I'm gonna do now is just put it, this anchor hitch under my body weight just so you guys can see how it reacts to it being under body weight. I'll put it on my saddle, tend my line a little. I'm gonna sit back on, on it. Alrighty. So once you put it under body weight, it holds really well. And as I mentioned that it does hold your um, carabiner in place. One good thing about it that it's never going to um, side load on you and that's really important. Also what's another good thing about this is after you had it under your body weight when you want to take it off you just push this piece up and now it's easy to undo. You can also do this on you know the beckets of a snap it's just a little bit um, harder if it's a small eye for you to use the anchor on that. There you have it, the anchor hitch. A good way to study this hitch is to do it alongside the video until you have it down. You wanna try to get it done within a minute. Remember that as you're doing it, you wanna do it or get to the point where you're not having the video, you'll do it and then check your work. You also wanna make sure that it's not running or moving, it's tied, dressed and set properly. Uh, and and do it within a minute.
by that time then you could feel confident when you get to that exam anyhow i hope you guys enjoy this video comment like and subscribe hit that notification bell if you like what we do and by all means share our video take care we'll see you next time Thank you.